I had a friend over last week and she wanted to go secondhand shopping and you know what that means. <laughs> I always look at the books and find books that I want and since it's secondhand, if I find them in good conditions, and usually they're very cheap so I can't really let them just fly around there because they'll probably not be be there the next time so yeah I got some DVDs as well so I thought I'd show you those as well the first DVD is in the land of women with Meg Ryan, Kristen Stewart and Adam Brody and I really like this movie I've seen it before and we watched it now when I got it for myself uh, it's basically about this guy he lives in LA and his girlfriend breaks up with him and he's an aspiring writer so he goes to stay with his very old grandma for a while she's kind of delusional and thinks she's gonna die I mean she's old so she will die but yeah uh, cuz yeah he goes there to take care of her sort of and then he meets uh, this mother and her kids uh, and just kind of gets to know that family, their neighbors, and it sort of revolves around their acquaintance, sort of. So yeah, a very nice movie. I definitely recommend this. The next movie is something I haven't seen before, ever heard of. It's The Painted Eel. Uh, with Naomi Watts and Edward Norton, uh, the cover draw me in. I just I love this kind of. I think it's twenties. Yeah, it's in the twenties, and this is it says eighteen plus. I have no idea. Uh, it's a Somerset mom story. Uh, I haven't read him, but I want to. I guess I've heard he's really good. So I guess I'll just watch this movie first. Because uh, I do have a book with the collected short stories by mom. I don't think this is in there. I guess this is more of a book of his. I have no idea. If you've seen this movie, please let me know what you thought. Next movie is something I've seen many times. It's the Cider House Rules. I, I, I adore this story. It's very sad but also good. And I, I, I have this book in Swedish actually. And I've heard John Irving is a great writer, so hopefully I'll read that as well soon. But I couldn't pass by this, buying this. And the last two DVDs that I got is with my favorite actor, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, the, the Departed, which is sort of... Uh, I, I don't care about or care for Matt Damon. I, <laughs> uh, I barely like him more than Tom Cruise. The, but yeah, Leo is amazing. And this movie is so good. Uh, if you have not seen this, please watch it. It is very emotional and you, if you uh, tend to get very emotional, this was, will probably make you cry. It's kind of difficult to watch at times, but I do think this is a great movie and I do recommend it to everyone very very well played and written uh, as well I think this actor got an Oscar actually so it's set in Africa and the diamond industry yeah very good. on to the books mm, I got a few first of all I went to a book trade at school and got this which is a manuscript of a Swedish movie from the 90s, Fucking Omol, uh, by Lucas Morrison. And I love this movie, so I couldn't really not pick this up because I just haven't read it yet. But I, whenever I watch the movie, I know all the lines already, so this will probably be a very fun read. And it's about this girl and this girl, and this girl is a homosexual, and this girl is kind of a popular girl at school. So it's about these two girls in a small town, um, in high school. So very very fun. And then I found a book that's been talked about on Goodreads, uh, 
on booktube <laughs> quite a lot and it's Weeded Drowned by Karst Karsten Jensen uh, he's a Danish uh, author this is not as pretty as the English version but since this is not I do like reading English books when the original is English if not I just buy the Swedish uh, translation because this is a Danish Danish book so uh, and it's huge uh, and I read a bit faster in Swedish as well so this was a good choice and I found it secondhand very cheap so I thought I couldn't really pass it up next is a French novel uh, which I read a year ago when it came out in Swedish last January I borrowed it from the library then I saw it hardcover very nice condition and it's Helene Grémillon I guess uh, The Confident and this is a Swedish copy I really enjoyed reading this uh, it's basically about it's set in Paris 1975 and it's about this young woman basically uh, getting to know this woman who lives in a house with her man and she can't have kids and the young woman starts uh, hanging out with this woman sort of uh, go there to paint because they give her paint stuff and things like that and the story sort of revolves around they getting to know each other and she's kind of get involved in their family sort of and the story that story is told in letters that the uh, main protagonist gets from a unknown sender, sort of. So you get to know that story about the woman and the uh, young woman from Camille who gets these letters. And yeah, you get to know why she gets them. I, I really enjoyed this book. I think it's great. I do tend to like French novels a lot. And yeah, I, I recommend this. I haven't heard anyone talk about it, really. Uh, and even on Goodreads, I haven't seen any of my Goodreads friends uh, rating this, uh, but I definitely recommend it. And next I got another hardcover by Joe Hill. It's the Heart Shaped Box, I think it's called in English, and this is Stephen King's son, one of his sons. I didn't know uh, he had sons <laughs> until recently, and my I went to the library just before Christmas for a spooky reads night uh, and got this as a suggestion to read and I saw it hardcover, very nice edition, so I just thought I'd pick it up because it was like two dollars or something so I'm looking forward to this, I want to read more horror stuff, I really enjoy Stephen King so maybe I like uh, Joe Hill as well. Then I got another popular book I really like this cover it's Khaled Hosini uh, what what's the English the the kite runner it's <laughs> this is a Swedish copy I will love this cover I usually uh, just the coloring here and the blue and the gold text and the boy running uh, I have not seen the movie I've not read this I've never read any Hosini I have his other novel which I won in a Christmas thing last year uh, a thousand splendid sons I have not read that yet but I definitely want to read him and just thought I'd pick it up I've seen it a bunch of times secondhand but usually they kind of beat up so when I saw this I decided to pick it up because it was in such a good condition really. I also got a Daniel Woodrow novel called Winter's Bone. Uh, this is Jennifer Lawrence. I saw this movie a couple years back and remember really liking it. I think it's it's basically about a young woman. Um, her father disappears and hides because he got I think he got gambling problems or something like that and someone comes to their house and tells her 
Uh, they need to pay because they're late on rent, I believe. And yeah, she, she's trying to find her dad so they can keep the house. Because I think she got a younger sibling. Um, yeah. Yeah, two, two younger brothers, but she, yeah, it's basically about her trying to find her dad and people are just kind of mean to her, right? And then I got a really big book. I know Miriam has read this, I believe, uh, uh, of books and more. Um, <laughs> it's Roberto Bolaño, uh, 2666. It's a Spanish writer. Um, and this is <laughs> huge. This is also a Swedish copy. Thank God. Thank God. Um, this is 1053 pages. <laughs> I have no idea when I'll read this. Um, but it's, yeah, it's basically in five parts. And it just sounded really good, so... And this was very cheap, so I decided to pick it up. I've seen it before, uh, but didn't think I'd ever read a book this long. But I do really want to read it because it just... Eh, it's kind of messy here, but um, check it out on Goodreads. I got another hardcover. Um, it's called Blackbird. It's a story about... Uh, a Lost Childhood by Jennifer Lauk. I think it's not another name. The original title is actually Blackbird, A Childhood Lost and Found. It's from year 2000. Uh, 2000. <laughs> and yeah, this sounded very nice. I like kind of like family drama things and it sounds sad but still intrigued me so I got it um, if you've read this please leave a comment because I really don't know that much about it um, it's about a girl called Jennifer and she's five years old and her dad marries another woman and she is a religious fanatic fanatic sort of and when the dad dies this girl gets stuck in a bubble sort of with this stepmother it just sounds very scary um yeah of the loss of her childhood and yeah very interested i like reading things like this so that's it for my haul um I can't say there won't be any more even though I want to because there are a few books that I would really like to get. Uh, one of them is a debut novel coming out in April or something um, or March maybe but I think I will book it, pre-order it because uh, I really want to read it. It's by Sandra Beyer, I've already told you about it so yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. If you've read any of these books, uh, let me know what you thought about them. And have a nice night or morning or day or whatever. Bye!